Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ricky, and today we're going to be talking about Isn't that so annoying when the intro interrupts you and then you can't, you know, say what you were going to say? As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the intro, today we're going to be talking about something that's been on my mind for years, and that is, am I a bad person if I leave people on red? And we're starting now. Okay, before starting this video, I want to shout out my sister's YouTube channel that she just started. It's called Chic Antique, and she is a furniture artist, so if you like satisfying transformations of furniture and whatnot, I'll link it in the description, and uh, if you go to like the channels section of my YouTube channel, you'll find Chic Antique there too. And if you like me as a content creator, you'll probably like her as well. So please watch her videos, subscribe, comment, uh, like them. That would really help her out a lot. And uh, let's begin. Going back to the question of, am I a bad person if I leave people on red? Like most things, it just comes down to intention. Why do you leave people on red? And if it's because you just don't care to reply, that's probably something you should work on. And uh, <laughs> this is a kind of a funny topic, but I actually used to like reply to everyone, everyone's text, um, and it was like, overwhelming at times, but I just felt obligated to always text back. And I was always the last person to text back. Um, and then that kind of started to, it didn't necessarily affect my self-esteem in a big way, but I started to wonder, why am I always the one that texts last? And then the conversation stops there. Um, is it a me problem? And I don't know if I really figured that out. There's, there's another part to that. Um, I don't think it's really healthy to expect so much of yourself to always be giving and giving and giving, um, even if it's something as as minuscule as texting back. Um, sometimes people text things that are just heavy, you know? I like to think of myself as a deep thinker, and if someone sends me this long essay about, I don't know, just some heavy stuff, and I... I have the time but don't have the mental clarity or the, you know, just the right headspace. I don't feel like I can reply. I just, I can't do it anymore. I, uh, I just can't. While I do think that communication is important with our friends and family, I don't really think we should feel obligated to reply, at least not right away, uh, for multiple reasons. We're all busy people. We have things to do. You know, I kind of have a tough time with this and people say, sorry, I haven't gotten back to you, I've been a little busy, uh, because we're all busy, we all have stuff going on, um, and, you know, they, they, they say they've been busy, but you see them on social media all the time, um, you know, there's kind of, in my opinion, two sides to that coin, because you could say, oh, well, they could be doing whatever they're supposed to, you know, texting me back or helping me out with such and such. Uh, but instead they're spending time on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is, uh, and they should be doing this thing. And we, we kind of hold that against them um, because we're prioritizing ourselves, but it's also important to have, you know, they need to have their time too. Um, so it's interesting that there are ways that we can publicly show our lack of productivity or whatever, and that is you know, liking stuff, commenting on posts, posting, whatever it is, on, on social media. And it, it's really interesting that we just, it's this, it, it opens up this, this opportunity to be judgmental for us. Like, we all waste time. I mean, unless we're Elon Musk, we need to take a break and, you know, spend time on our hobbies, you know, f scroll through Facebook or Instagram or something like that. And I think a lot of us tend to use that as a way to judge others. Um, you know, like we hold it against them. Like, wow, Susie posted on Instagram, but she can't even text me back. Like, what's that all about? And so sometimes, yeah, we need to prioritize things. I mean, if anyone's watching this that I haven't texted back, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on it. Um, but there's there's a lot more to it than just so-and-so is doing doing this, but they should be doing this. Most of the time, I don't think it's really valid. It's not our business to be judging people on how they should spend their time. Um, 
and there there's more to there there's more to it than just you know n someone leaving you on red it doesn't necessarily mean they wanted to or they did it on purpose you know someone could text you something that requires a lot of brain power and so you just put it off because either brain power or um like I'm not in that mindset right now I'm not I'm I'm just not right in the right headspace to text text that person back. I think we need to communicate that better. Just say it how it is. Hey, sorry it's been a while, but I do care about you enough to reply, and I'm replying right now. Thanks. I would actually send the unicorn emoji to one of my friends, and that meant, hey, I've seen your text. I can't reply to it right now for whatever reason, but I will. So you know, just hang tough. And uh, that 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 worked out great. And. Uh, we just need to be better at communicating. The other side to that is um, knowing your friends well enough to, um, you know, give, know when to give them space and maybe ask, hey, are you good? Like, I haven't heard from you in a while. So in addition to just not having time to reply at the moment, some things are just difficult to reply to. Um, some texts are just really heavy or they take a toll on you emotionally or um, mentally. Um, and, uh, I think that's another reason why, you know, people get left on red. A thing that actually happened was my, my friend was talking to me, we were catching up, and uh, they told me that their, uh, their relative had passed away. And that was actually, like, interest. I don't want to say weirdly emotional for me, but it just, it just like hit me, you know? I was like, man, I, I haven't talked to this person in a while. And I'm not going to say, like, I'm... I'm what they needed, like I could have been there for them, like it would have made a difference, but I could have been there for them if I had stayed in contact better. And you know, I didn't, and that's okay. Um, but my point with this is, I actually didn't text back for a while when they said like, you know, my relative passed away, it was pretty hard, um, but I'm glad they're out of pain. I didn't text back to that right away, and I felt really bad, but at the same time, it's as if it took an emotional toll on me, so I needed to, like, take a break from that conversation. Does that make sense? And whether or not you need to explain yourself is up to you, of course. But I think communication is important, especially with our loved ones. And, uh, of course, they probably care about you, so they're gonna understand whether you explain or not. So, you know, just text them. Call them, whatever you need to do. Reach out to the people that are most important to you because life is short and you won't have them forever. If you just keep texting someone over and over and they're not getting back to you like ever, like months or years or whatever it is. Just give up and die. You should probably just take a break or call it quits, whatever you want to do. Uh, I have friends that were like, you know, we were BFFs growing up and, you know, they don't text me back anymore and that's okay, you know, life moves on. We. We become different people, we change, and that's okay. You know, we just gotta move on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys, it's okay. It's really okay. So I just did a road trip to California for another project that I'm working on, and that just really wiped me out for, like, the past two weeks. And so on the topic of leaving people hanging, I left you guys hanging for about two weeks. I haven't uploaded for a couple weeks, and I'm sorry about that. I do want to be courteous to the people that you know, hit subscribe because there was probably a reason why you did that. Thank you for doing that, by the way. I understand that consistency is vital to success in anything, especially YouTube, but I just didn't want to sacrifice my content for the sake of consistency. I didn't want to upload subpar videos just for the sake of uploading on a schedule. And I just haven't had the energy and, the, you know, the nice bubbly personality to upload. Alright, well, I'm tired of sitting up straight, so I'm gonna slouch and uh, eat some sun chips. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, hello, I'm Ricky Wilder, and uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. And to all you 57 subscribers, you're the best. So if you're new here and you want to watch me talk about something else that I care about, I highly recommend this video. It's about why people need to stop blaming society so check it out should be right here uh it's good okay bye <sighs> new camera guys
Judas. <laughs> okay. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ricky, and today we're going to be talking about pee pee poo poo. As I was saying before the intro, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Oh my gosh. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the intro, today we're going to. Oh my gosh. And then I said, get those bananas out of here. Today we're going to be talking about. I think. I think, you know, oh my gosh, there's so many reasons why we could use social media to judge some, to judge, <laughs> you know, I had, I had a friend that I would send the, um, I would send the, uh, one of my friends, I would send the, uh, you know, it'd be awesome if water gave you energy, like caffeine or something like that. Shout out to all you hydro homies. <laughs> Having this, <laughs> ow, I bit my tongue. <laughs> this YouTube channels. Why can't I say it? Uh, it's in my head. I'm trying so hard to get out for you guys. I'm trying to let you know what's in here because it's awesome. All that good stuff that you already know how to do because you're, you know, probably grown as adult. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to say it. Peep. Um, get that crap out of here. Today, hello? Hey. I keep looking at myself right there in the little window. Hi, Ricky. Hi. Uh, today we're going to be talking about why am I the only one, <laughs> the only one being the last person to text back. That's really funny. I don't care about this. Um, <laughs> gosh. <sighs> Come on. Okay, well, uh, thank you for... Thank you for listening to my spiel. Thank you, and I'm happy to help. Subscribe if you want, or not. It's okay. We'll all get through this together. 